Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's download is for whoever has things unfolding in their fifth house. Okay, I feel like it's the fifth house very heavily for this message. So that could have anything to do with your love affairs and any romantic attachment, self-expression, creativity, art, drama, children, pleasure, play, and speculation. So let's jump in. I'm so excited. So you guys have things unfolding in your fifth house. You are amping up your romance okay for those of you that are in a relationship okay you're amping up your romance you're amping up your relationship your creativity and you're figuring out what drives that you're figuring out what sparks that what makes it tick what what gets it going okay and i like that and you guys could be just really focusing on love your love life you could be really focusing on re-energizing your children or just the things that you're dreaming of Okay, so I feel like this could have to do with your inner child or your actual children or the things that you're birthing in life. And Spirit is saying, what are your dreams? Okay, what are you dreaming of? You guys could be um, a Pisces moon because I'm getting that you guys are a daydreamer and you're being activated right now. Like your dreams are about to come to fruition and Spirit is saying that it's just the beginning. So stay positive because you have been dreaming about abundance, um, revamping your creativity, revamping your love life, and Spirit is saying it's a go, okay? They're saying it's a go, this abundance is coming in, that it's okay to ask for help. And so you guys are learning how to accept help, okay? You are learning that your love life is important. Maybe you guys are a workaholic and you guys are really in contemplation right now about skimming back, about gratitude, what makes you happy. Whoa. And I just feel like you guys are adored in the spirit realm. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're of high honor. I feel like you're a star messenger. And yeah, you guys feel like maybe your love life has been turned upside down. Maybe you guys just feel like it could be better or it could be doing better or the things that you love, the things that you are dreaming of that you could nourish them more so i get that you guys are going to be doing that let's see what else we get for you guys whoa whoa we have go with the flow spirit is saying the more you go with the flow the more things that will unfold for you guys for you to be able to move forward they're saying keep your heart open and magic will unfold i i'm seeing that like you guys just want the magic brought back into your life you want things to be magical and um, maybe you guys are a hopeless romantic you're just looking back at like when things were more magical like maybe it was at the beginning of the relationship or the beginning of this business or this partnership I feel like it's you're wondering like where'd the honeymoon phase go like things were so great and now like you just want to get back to that Whoever I'm speaking to, you're trying to figure out how to get back to that. You guys could also be a Leo. Um, you guys could be a Leo, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, an Aries. You guys could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Gemini. You have a lot of inner knowing. Spirit is saying follow that right now. Follow your inner knowing. Don't second guess your dreams. Don't second guess the abundance that's coming in for you. Don't second guess asking for help. And um, somebody here is gaining a lot by meditation. So you guys are really good at visualizing things. So Spirit is saying the more that you visualize what it is that you want, the more that it will unfold. I love these decks. Okay, we have stand in your power. Okay, stand in your power. Be passionate. Oh my gosh, you guys, be passionate about your vision. Bring about positive change. Standing in your power and being positive about the changes that are unfolding 
are going to bring more positivity into your life. I know I was going to knock this over. I've just got so many decks, you guys. It gives me anxiety. <laughs> okay. So I'm learning how to like go more with the flow and film different ways where I'm more patient with myself, being easy on myself and just, you know, trying to not get so distracted. We have big blessings coming in. So by you guys standing in your power and you guys um, nourishing the love in your life, just really mothering that and you're realizing that you can heal and activate others in any setting. So you're going to start really looking at who you heal and activate. Like, is it your spouse? Is it your person? Are you giving that? Who are you giving the healing and activating energy to? You guys are really going to be looking at that. Yeah, somebody here is in a divine union. You could have just met your divine counterpart and you're looking at your person like they could really use my healing and activating right now. And um, I'm just getting that the people that love you the most that are really there for you, they could really use your mothering, your fathering, your, your unconditional love. Maybe it's hard for them to ask for help. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate with you that they miss somebody or they miss something or they miss the way that things used to be. So I'm getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you guys have a lot of resources. You have more resources than the person you're dating. You have more resources than a lot of the people around you. And Spirit is saying, who are you healing and activating? Who are you sharing your big blessings with? Who is maybe missing the way things used to be. Maybe it was ro more romantic. Maybe it was you were nicer or you didn't work so much. And Spirit is saying, really be tender with those relationships right now. Give those relationships a lot of attention. And I feel like that's why things are unfolding for you in your fifth house. You are more open to intensifying intimacy I love this. You guys are looking in the mirror. You're like, okay, my person wants more intimacy or the people around me want more time with me. Um, maybe the people around you, maybe their love language is quality time and they're just really wanting this from you without having to ask you. They're wondering like, where'd the love go? Where'd the magic go? I never see them. So you guys are really taking a look in the mirror and you're really being vulnerable with yourself. You're realizing, oh my gosh, my life is so magical. Why am I always got my head in the books? Why have I always got my, um, why am I always working long hours? Why am I always working overtime? Let me spend more time with my family. Let me more, spend more time um, creating things that I love. So you're just going to start looking, you know, like you're going through a big perspective shift. And I see that you guys are going to be blossoming the more you look in the mirror. Spirit is saying you are royal. Put your crown on. Look in the mirror, look in the mirror and say, I am royal. I am putting my crown on. I am slowing down to, in, to enjoy the feast. I am slowing down to absorb the magic. Okay, so comment down below. I am slowing down to absorb the magic. I am slowing down to enjoy the feast. I am healing and activating those that I love. And maybe you guys were missing the red flags when it came to your person. Maybe they're they lost a loved one and they really need you right now, but they're not good at saying that. Somebody is trying to communicate something with you in regards to your fifth house and you might be missing it or you might be feeling that they want this from you, but you're not really like looking at it because you're like, well, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. So spirit is saying lighten your load. Your abilities are powerful. Lighten your load. Abundance will still come in. Your dreams will still come true. So you guys are going through a huge rebirth. You are shedding old ways of doing things. You're seeing where it does not serve you anymore to be stubborn or to give excuses to the people that care about you the most. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a let go of being right. This will bring a lot of love and peace into your life. Let go of being right. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could really use your assistance, your help, your mentorship. And so I see that you guys are going to be doing a lot of acts of service. 
you guys are able to see people's auras. So spirit is saying, don't forget your abilities. Like nobody needs to tell you what they need. You will naturally know this. So they're saying, don't ignore it. Okay. Don't do it for attention. Don't do it for recognition. Don't do it for an attaboy or a pat on the back. Okay. They're saying, just do it because these people need you. So your ancestors are trying to communicate with you at this time to slow down that life is good and that they don't want you to fake the funk in mastering love. They don't want you to fake the funk in becoming the empress. I love this. Like you guys are going through a huge transformation. So not only are your ancestors trying to reach out to you, but they're also trying to give you signs, synchronicities, numbers, and sacred animal messages. Are you guys seeing owls? Are you seeing ladybugs? Are you seeing snakes, lizards, eagles, ravens? I love this. So I feel like you guys are shedding parts of your ego. Realize that you don't have to prove yourself to these people that care about you okay you don't have anything left to prove start living your life start celebrating with them start spending more time with them and then i got ti live your life all of these confirmations so just live your life instead of chasing that paper just live your life and got no time for no haters wow so yeah maybe you guys are a workaholic and you just like bury yourself in work or you bury yourself in your studies and spirit is saying you are relentless with your goals but there is a family wound that you need to heal to end a certain hardship so is this something that your parents did is this a chain that you're getting ready to break because uh, maybe your mom did this maybe your mom was like well i'm busy and i'm working all the time and i'll love you guys when i can and you're realizing as you look in the mirror like wait hold up i'm not trying to be this person so you guys are going to go into hermit mode, okay? Or you're going to go into hermit mode with your family. You're just going to become one with your family unit, your family unit or household. We have the lizard. You're getting back on track from being negative. You are reversing where you've been spilling over your cup as the empress. So comment down below, magic is all around me. Love is all around me. I am making my wildest dreams come true. I am allowed to slow down. And I feel like slowing down is going to bring you guys a lot of peace. And I feel like your family and your loved ones are really going to enjoy it. Yeah. You're going to be very successful. Very successful. So Spirit is saying, life is peachy. Smile. They want you to smile more. Okay. So this is what I got that fell on the ground. I got the sun, hidden agendas, and the owl. Okay. Spirit is saying, you know what you need to do in regards to your fifth house. You know what you need to do in regards to your loved ones. And you are learning to really use your discernment where people have hidden agendas like is it your boss that's overworking you and like you're needing to have clear-cut communication with them like hey i'm not going to work all of this overtime this is when i am going to work i'm going to spend time with my family you guys are getting a new beginning in how you communicate it's coming through sharp like you're just going to have mega clarity like okay you guys have been overworking me and I'm done. My ships will still come in. My blessings will still come in. I'm going to focus on the magic, the creativity, my love life, my family, my household, and making that magical again. So I'm seeing that you guys have different things coming to fruition. I keep getting the chariot. Like you guys are about to move forward. You're about to be very successful. Um, somebody here is moving. Yeah, confirmation. Somebody here is moving and or you're going to be traveling with your family. Maybe you're going to be taking them on a vacation. Spirit is saying you will avoid a lot of disaster by letting go of being stubborn, letting go of being right. You will avoid a lot of disaster by spending time with your loved ones. They're saying like you won't be disappointed and it's going to be very healing for you. 
So you're going to be working hard. You're going to be chipping away and working hard on your family unit. You're going to be working hard on your creativity because there are different things that have been stealing your joy. I feel like it's overworking, thinking that there's not enough, being in a poverty mindset and not even realizing it because you've been working so much. So maybe you guys have been heavily in your masculine energy and you're like, hold up, hold up. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm this, that, the third. And you guys are going to let go of that. High Priestess. Spirit saying, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. They're saying, you know what you need to do. They said, they're saying they're with you. They're communicating with you. Your resources aren't going anywhere. Your ships aren't going anywhere. Um, don't, don't be concerned with people not cooperating with you in regards to you taking time off. They're saying, don't worry about people, you know, giving you some backlash about you taking a step back. Spirit saying that you are setting boundaries and they will get over it. Because they're saying if you do the opposite, you will continuously be exhausted while things that are important to you fall apart. And they're saying take the high road in regards to people that are trying to tell you no, people that are trying to push the envelope with you, people that are in their feelings because you are setting a new bar for how you want things done. No, don't apologize. They're saying take action towards what you want. And be spontaneous, have fun, be generous with those that are, have been generous to you. So now it's time for you guys to give back to the people that love you the most. And I see that you guys are going to be really like giving them a lot of TLC. Okay, you're going to be giving your loved ones a lot of TLC right now. Just really just like pouring on the love and they're going to appreciate it. You guys, they're going to appreciate it so much. That is what I'm getting. It is going to bring the Ten of Cups into your life. It's going to bring better communication into your home. And you're going to be able to travel and stop stealing so much joy out of your life. And you're going to start working on things as a unit or as a couple. It's building a better foundation. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. So let's get out some Zodiac messages. We have the Wheel of Karma. Yeah, you guys are going through a divine intervention, but you have luck and fortune on your side. You guys could also be a Gemini or you guys could be dating a Gemini. Give me a couple more. We have fishing pole and fine print. They're saying don't assume anymore. Don't assume that these people are good, that they don't need you. Maybe they're not good at asking for help. Maybe they're like you and they're not good at asking for help. And Spirit is saying... You know, look closer, dig deep, pay attention, and be thorough with how you give them love and support and attention. So we have fishing pole. You guys are going to explore. You're going to connect with nature. You're going through self-improvement, a lot of reflection. You're going to feel accomplished. And this is, again, about mentoring others, extending yourself. I love this. So you guys are going to be extending yourself more. You're... Oh. What a beautiful message. We have the mother load. You guys have prosperity coming in. Do you know why this is coming in? Because you are extending yourself to the people that matter. Because they could really use your love right now. And Spirit is saying this has a very good outcome. Okay? The things that you're worried about, they're going to have a very good outcome. So you guys are going to be really encouraging right now. And you're going to be helping propel your family unit. I'm getting more about traveling. Spirit is saying, take that vacation. Go ahead and travel. Go out in nature. You're going to be ready to soar. They're saying that you are going to be protected on this trip. You're going to be pr protected traveling a long distance. You are rising. You guys are rising and overcoming. You are in control. Things are working out. You guys are the hero. You are the hero to a lot of people in your life. So you guys are coming through to save the day. Spirit is saying you are brave. You are passionate. You are a fighting spirit. You have high honor. You are determined. You're going to start obeying orders from your ancestors. You are fearless. Comment down below. I am fearless. I am a star messenger. I am heroic. I am assertive. Spirit is always with me. I am obeying orders. I am a champion of my cause. 
Comment down below, I am ready to soar. I am ready to rise. I am ready to overcome. I am digging deep. I am bringing in my Ten of Cups. I am the magician. The Wheel of Karma is here. Prosperity is here. The jackpot is here. Give me a couple more. So I'm getting... Um, I'm getting Scorpio energy, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. We have telephone. Yeah, somebody really wants to communicate with you. You guys are going to activate. Um, we got cancer energy. You guys are really going to be activating your throat chakra, realizing that there are people that are trying to overcome hardships and adversity and setbacks and disappointment and you guys are going to make all of these wrongs right again i'm seeing that you guys are reigniting your love life and reigniting your creativity and your passion oh my gosh you guys confirmation fifth house your family so this is about your loyalty your allegiance your parents your children your siblings your support systems your tribe your origins Oh, it's so cute. And you guys are going to um, realize where you were holding yourself hostage. You're in this cage thinking, I got to work this hard. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. And where you were obsessing and where you were just restless. And spirit is saying, it's time to sing. This cage is open. It's time to fly. It's time to rise. You are not trapped. You are ready to soar. Give me a couple more. Okay, Spirit said one more. So, we have person of water. You are a psychic. You are emotionally connected. You feel things deeply. You are naturally a healer. You are naturally a counselor. You are naturally an advisor. You are naturally an author. We got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. And yeah, you guys are heart-centered. You are going to be becoming more empathic, more connected. Wow. What a message. And to see that, like, maybe you don't ever go on vacation. Uh, maybe you don't travel a lot. Maybe you're scared to travel. I'm just seeing that you traveling. I got the chariot here twice. Um, I got airplanes and all types of vehicles that are going to be helping you move, whether you go by boat, by plane, by, by car. You guys are ready to offer this love. You guys are going to be protected on this journey. Okay. So let's get some more messages for you guys. Spirit is saying, believe in the impossible. Your fairy tale is here. Give me a couple. Whoa. I'm just seeing that you guys are going to have an epiphany on what you need to do. Because you've been avoiding emotional connection. And you guys are releasing emotional blocks. Being closed off. bottled up yeah the spirit is saying where have you been holding back where have you been um holding back and bottling up your emotions and somebody could be feeling this way about you they feel like oh they don't listen to me and i i feel codependent on their energy i don't like that and i feel like they're not listening to me they're not hearing me and spirit is saying the more time you spend with your creativity, your romantic affairs, your family, the more time is going to fly because you're going to be having so much fun. You're going to be losing track of time. You're not going to be so worried about the things that you thought you'd be worried about. So you're going to be getting out of this funk of like having to do so much, having to work so much. Sacred cycles. You're letting go of the old. Honor the cycle that you are in. What goes around comes around. Spirit is saying, 
Um, if you are asking about if somebody is your twin flame, okay, that they are. Yes, they are your twin flame. Your life is going to be changed forever. And they're also saying that you're going to be lighting the way for this person, okay, as they're going to light the way for you. You're setting an example, a light of their life, setting strong boundaries. So I've been getting a lot of messages about boundaries and making people follow these boundaries or they need to fly a kite. And I'm getting that with like people around you, like boss, coworkers, um, people that try to like dim your light, the people with hidden agendas. Spirit is saying, follow the signs, signs and synchronicities. You are not alone. It is not an accident. It is not a coincidence. I'm just seeing that you guys are divinely protected at this time. No matter what people try to throw your way, you are paying attention. You know what time it is. You are reading between the lines. You are very wise. You guys have had a lot of life experiences. And Spirit is saying, you are the proud rebel. You're a rule breaker. You are the nonconformist. You are not in a traditional relationship. You are moving to the beat of your own drum. Give me a couple more. Okay. So I got proper offering, magical gateway, and the return. So there is a lesson that is coming to return. I feel like that's the family wound that you're going to be healing so I feel like that's returning where you're going to look at it and come together with your family. You're returning to home. Okay. This card is about you returning to home. Oh, you guys returning to home is a magical gateway. Go for it on the right path. This is a wonderful new beginning. Oh, this is so cute. Proper offering, receiving an offer, a gift or contribution. You guys feel like, damn. What have I been offering my loved ones? I, I need to get it together. I want to gift them, love them, spoil them, pamper them. And you're going to do the damn thing. And as you do that, you're going to get blessings on blessings on blessings. Spirit is saying, these people are worth the fight. Don't give up easily. Fight for your love. They're saying, let go of any anger. Work on letting go of anger, resentment, frustra frustration, annoyance, or feeling wronged. This is definitely a new beginning for your relationship. This is definitely a new beginning for um, like you're closing out a karmic cycle. Okay, you're getting off the family hamster wheel of dog shit. Like, oh, I don't want to be like my mom. I don't want to be like my dad. I need to fix this. We've got heavy burden and the cosmos. So you guys are realizing where you are carrying old baggage Okay, we have the owl here. We have a lot of butterflies, a lot of butterflies. You guys are going through major transformations and you are letting go of heavy burdens, responsibilities, or clinging to unhealthy relationships. You're done. You're cutting it off. Comment down below. I am letting go of old baggage. I am letting go of heavy burdens. I am letting go of needing to be right. I have big blessings coming in. I am returning to home. I am opening a magical gateway. I have a lot to offer. I am hitting the mother load. You guys have so many gifts. You are aligned with the universe. You're getting aligned with the universe. And Spirit is saying, you have a cosmic plan. I love this for you guys. You are letting go of old responsibilities. You guys... Like, don't think that I'm just, like, calling you guys out. I'm calling out myself, too. Um, there are a lot of things that I can learn from this download, like, where I could spend more time with my family or I do things like my family that I don't talk to. And so those are things that I try to work on daily, like, self-reflecting, like, okay, I need to do this different. I need to listen more. I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to let go of being bright. I need to say how I feel. I need to be vulnerable. I need to say what's on my mind. And so we are always fixing things daily. Don't be so hard on yourself. And 
Um, we're just always evolving. We're always improving. So I have wishes granted and strangely lonely. You are not alone. You guys are like me. You feel like I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. And I uh, like freaking out all the time thinking that I got to do all these things by myself. And I don't. I don't. My person's always like, let me help you with this. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's like this biznatch is crazy. This little chucher is crazy. So spirit is saying you have magical energies around you. Your thoughts are manifesting quickly. So be careful and your wishes are coming true. Comment down below. My wishes are being granted. Magic is all around me. My thoughts are manifesting quickly. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to pull out this deck. So let's get out your guys' advice for your fifth house, okay? And then we're going to get out an angel number for you guys. Wow. Wow. Give me one more. Whoa. Thank you, spirit. Rest and renewal, Garden of Venus. You guys are stepping into the Garden of Love. Love for yourself, love for your loved ones. <laughs> Look, you guys, it's a magical gateway. This is making me emotional. Okay, let me calm down. And we have gathering around. You guys are bringing it back to your soul tribe. Like, it's just going to bring so much light into your life, more than you're expecting. Then we have the horsemen. This is all of this change that's coming through. You're breaking chains. You are the herald for change. Wow. And then we have heart, home, compassion. Oh, excuse me. Confirmation. So you guys are going to be just, I feel like maybe you felt like your heart chakra was blocked. You're like, what is wrong with me? I, I know I'm this, that, or the third, an empath, a light worker. Why do I feel like my heart chakra is clogged or blocked? And Spirit is saying, be easy on yourself. It's time for rest and renewal. It's time for change. Um, it's time for more compassion. It's time to take it all the way back to home. It's time to be connected. Connected with your psychic abilities. Connected with your home. Connected with your heart. Oh. I know I said just a couple more, but I'm just going to get a couple more. <laughs> Anything else? Whoa. Okay, we'll take those. Okay, we got group think. So the fountain of youth is like within your family and your family unit or whoever you call your family or your loved ones or your person. And like they have a lot to offer you. Like you are supported, you are never alone. And then we have sky riding. These things are fated for you. So I feel like there's like a trip that you are fated for. Maybe you guys are gonna be returning to where you were born, going near the ocean. I'm just seeing that this is like a hard Venus reset, okay? <laughs> Comment down below, I'm ready for the Venus reset, okay? Period. Okay, we got two, one, one, three. So, 21, 13. Two, 11, three, right? I think I did that right. So let me know if this number is synchronistic to you guys um, or you can drop the definition. Don't forget to comment how this resonates with you guys i love reading your guys's confirmations and don't forget to affirm what you want to bring in for you don't forget to smash the you know what hit the bell duh and just thank you guys for all of your loves your likes your shares your subscribes and your cash app donations they don't go unnoticed i 
freaking love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.